Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of ARK on the Gaming Evolve Vanilla with Sprinkle Server. <laughs> Sorry for the close-up. So, today, um, I'm not exactly completely sure of what we are doing. I have some little things that I need to get done, so I guess we're gonna get some of that done, and then I'm gonna settle into doing something. So, first of all, I wanted to start off by actually making one of these saddles. Now, we got this, this uh, Journeyman Blueprint. For the RG saddles, we got that back last week when we went into the cave with Neo, the underwater cave. So uh, actually today I might even head into there actually at some point to just maybe see if there's any drops. Probably go to the easier one though. <laughs> so as you can see, this one here is pretty good. It's not that expensive. I mean like that's quite a lot of stuff. But you know, I have all that. I have all of that stuff. And uh, yes, we're going to make that really quick here. So what was it again? Hide. Uh, I don't know exactly how much hide it was, but I have tons and tons of hide. I went out in the saber earlier. I actually made up a uh, broth of enlightenment and put it onto the saber, and uh, I think I got like a level and a half or something in the what was it again? 15 minutes or something that it takes. And I've got a lot of this stuff too. By the way, what is all this keratin from? I got a load of this from the underwater cave. Do Dunkleys give this? I'm so confused how I have this so much of this because. I think I have more of this than we have chitin. It's it's kind of confusing and I, I don't know why. What was it again for the fiber? I really should have brought the blueprint over here actually. That would have been smart. Actually, what am I doing? You don't make it in the smithy. Jeez, Syntax. Damn it. <laughs> okay. I think it was like 3000 or something. What am I doing with it in the smithy? I have no idea. Anyway, guys, I hope you will enjoy this episode. It's hopefully, I don't know, I don't know exactly what we're going to be doing. Probably just a bunch of random stuff, you know. And uh yeah, I hope Hopefully it turns out pretty well, but if you do find yourself enjoying this video at any point, I'm about to start begging for likes, so, uh, trigger warning, I guess. If you do find yourself enjoying this video, make sure that you beat the crap out of that like button, really helps me out. <clears throat> Sorry for begging for likes. No, I'm only kidding, guys, seriously. Uh, I'm not salty about that at all. It's kind of funny that people say that, but you know what? You guys defend me, and it's, it's, it was kind of nice to see all the support in the comments. Nobody really thought that I was doing that, which is never my intention, by the way. Uh, I will not beg for you guys to like the video. If you do not like it, obviously, you know, if you don't like it, don't like it, obviously. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I really did appreciate all the awesome comments in the last video, though. Definitely. So, also, we, we just got, grabbed that out of the smithy there a couple minutes ago. So, recently enough, I actually painted up this saddle, so I grabbed a couple paints here so we can get this one done, too. So, uh, what way did I paint it? Let me see. Um, I think, I don't know, I feel like that wasn't, I feel like that part was like orange, then this bit was red, then that bit was orange, <laughs> I'm just going off of memory here, I believe this bit was red, and then the little strap bits was red too, yeah that looks right, that looks good actually, although the orange does not really change it, so, it's kind of interesting, hmm, alright cool, well we got it done, let's check it on, Hopefully he looks the same. I think so. Yeah, it looks pretty similar, all right. Let me see, let me try it out. Oh yeah, no, that's comfy. That is very, very comfy. Hmm, okay, that's good. I like that. Actually, you know what? I think it is kind of different. Let me see. Yeah, I think it was red on the top. Let me see. Oh, it was. You know what, I don't mind the orange, actually. Uh, I went with that color scheme because it's kind of like fiery, I guess, in a little way. It looks good, though. All right, so next step is to put this blueprint back. Wait, no, do I? did I already put it back? No, I need to put back the saddle. There we go. So let me grab that, and we can chuck it over here in our handy-dandy little saddle thing up here. And, by the way, guys, I know you guys have really, really wanted this, but this weekend, I don't know, probably on Sunday, maybe I'm going to try and get out the video, I'm gonna go ahead and try and tame a Quetzal, because I have, like, this saddle, do I have an actual other Quetzal saddle? Yeah, I have this one here, the platform. Do I have, a, like, another one? I had three of these, where's the last one gone? Oh no, it's on my Mosa, that kind of scared me there for a sec. Actually, you know what, guys, this be... Hmm, let me see what I get from this. I want to see what I'll get if I grind this thing. This may sound so crazy, and you guys may be wondering why I'm doing this, but I just <laughs> want to see. Oh my god. Oh my, look at that metal. 
I know that's a very rare item, by the way, but I really don't care. I have, I have like, three of them. I'm never going to have that many Mosas with platforms. Plus, I don't really like the platform on a Mosa. Holy metal, though. Oh, man. We can make ourselves a cooker. We can make ourselves another industrial grinder, actually. And those silica pearls, dude, that's really going to help out. That is a lot of stuff, though. Let me, let me just grab out all the important stuff. Um... If I take them out, can I put them back in? The metal, I mean. Alright, so how much? I don't know how much CP we got. It's definitely 13 on uh, 1230, I think. And then, what was that again? Like 2000 or something? Silica pearls? That's pretty amazing. I can't, like, take all of that, can I? Let me, I guess we can just count here. So, uh, 1000, 2000, 3000. <laughs> oh my god, 4000, 5000, 6000, 7000. And uh, then there's three here, so. 8,200 metal. <laughs> Holy crap, we can make ourselves a forge. I might do that. I might do that. You know what, guys? Most of the saddles, that's the best way to get metal. Confirmed. That is the best way to farm metal. We can probably turn this off. Oh my god, I can't believe I got that. That is insane. <laughs> Alright, let's just check all this crap up here. And you can go in there. Nice, okay. So, silica pearls, you can go in here. And over 2,000, that's pretty good because I really don't have very many silica pearls. Um, at some point, I need to go out searching for some. So, well, not searching, I know where to find them, but you know, I need to go out and actually collect some. So, uh, yeah, although actually some people were saying that I should get myself a Diplodocus or a Diplocalus and I should go around and kill Trilobites, and that's actually kind of a cool idea. I keep getting a stuttering whenever I look over there. I don't know what it is. I might need to fiddle around with the settings here. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> also, my PC needs a clean. Oh, it really does. <laughs> the fan is so loud lately. Oh, I hate cleaning my PC. Anyway, you know what? That is that is all behind the scenes stuff. And we got a level. When did we get a level? What are we even leveling? Melee, maybe? Let's get that to 900. Jesus, this RJ is just too OP. Right, yo. Well, um, I guess we're gonna go over to the community because there's. I want to go over there and grab a moss chop. So, um, I guess we're gonna fly over the way over there. And actually, you know what? Um, let's go check in the sap farm before we get there. Ooh, get around all this crap here. All right. Actually, as well, I was also thinking because I knew that this was a thing, but I completely, ugh, I completely forgot about it. And right, let's get out of the tree so you guys can actually look at some pretty stuff. I forgot that arches can gather sap uh, when they're on wandering, and that kind of gave me the idea, hey, we should make a sap farm, like, not just tree saps, we or tree taps, <laughs> tree saps, we should actually go ahead and tame up like a huge amount of arches, and like, put them all into our little farm right here, and maybe build like a little pen so they can just like sit inside of there and like, keep collecting the stuff for us. Um, I don't know, that could be kind of cool. Alright, cool, we got... Plenty of this stuff. Let me see. Nice. Actually, last time I was over here, some of these taps were empty, and then some of them were full. And I think we had the same bug the last time uh, when we were taming the snails, if you guys remember. Um, we had some sort of issue, like where, I mean, I hadn't been over for a little while, so there definitely should have been some in that tap, but for some reason there was not in that certain tap that we actually clicked into. I think we might have flicked into two of them as well. But, uh, yeah, no, there was, like, no sap inside of them, which is, like, mind-boggling. Because there should have been. Definitely should have been. Uh, how much is that? Got one more tap here. Nice. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like, some arches running up and down here. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, we might do that at some point soon. I really do wish that you could actually produce the sap outside of the redwood. Maybe, like, I don't know, you get, like, <sighs> would that even make sense? Maybe getting, like, a redwood seed item, and you're able to, like, plant that down. And that would, like, slowly grow a little bit of sap, or I guess, you know, you can harvest sap from it or something. I really don't know. Like, just something like that. <laughs> just a way of harvesting sap without having to go over to the redwood. Because that'd be kind of cool, just to have around your base. This one is the dangerous one. There we go. Nice. Yeah, so, so, so like, pretty much all of these are full. So that's maybe... Hmm... That's kind of making me think that maybe somebody was over here using the farm before me. Now, like, I mean, I never said to any, I never told anybody about the location, so it's kind of weird that they found it. Did we already check that one? I think we might have. 
Yeah, I think we got all those so far. Let's actually just chuck all this crap in here first. Uh, nice. 300. Oh, man. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I never told anybody about the location, so it's kind of weird that they found it. Um, although, you know, it, it's kind of on the edge of the redwood, so that makes sense. But, uh, yeah, no, the last time I was over here, like, a bunch of these taps were kind of empty, so that made me kind of wonder that it might be some sort of bug, but it seems like they're all full now, so maybe... Maybe it was a restart that was a server needed, or... I really don't know. <laughs> also, check this out. Oh, it's like... It was wobbling a lot more a minute ago. There we go. <laughs> it's like peeking through here, and it's wobbling. It's great. All right, let me get some from you. And actually, you know what? I think Shredder has a sap farm around here, and Shredder is definitely asleep now. It is stupid o'clock in the morning, and... Uh, Shredder's a smart guy, so he's definitely not on this time like me. Um, <laughs> we live in the same time zone, so... I don't know, maybe I might try and find his sap farm. So I can go over there and maybe pinch some out of there too. Just so I have a lot, because I'm gonna need a whole lot more of this stuff. Oh, I think I see something here. Oh, Neo's little dino pen. Does he have tree saps? Tree saps? Tree taps. There we go, I can see some. Sweet. Actually, you know what? There is an S plus tree tap collector thingy but uh apparently yeah look you can see right here this is the s plus one it has five slots but it only collects 20 it does not collect anymore so i don't know if we have to enable something to make that work that would be kind of cool what the, oh what the hell's attacking okay that's kind of worrying for me it's like i don't want anything bad to happen to his stuff while i'm here and i can see is that chandra down there why did she land down there he land down there i said why did uh neo's other bird fly off oh crap Chandra, what are you doing? No! <laughs> uh, Neo's freaking Pteranodon is outside. Dude, like... Why? Chandra, come here. Yeah, where are you? There you are. Come here. Come here. Come here. Ah. Okay. Alright, let's just get Neo's one in first, because Chandra's kind of tanky. Um, he'll be able to take pretty much anything. Oh, okay, so he's still following, apparently. What? I did, like, an unfollow all. How did you not get unfollowed? Oh, never mind. Oh, okay, no, I I can see now. I was on a, uh, a, what are they called? A whistle group? Oh, also, oh my god, I haven't even showed you guys. I think I want to show you guys before we go back to the, uh, community base. Can you just please come down? <sighs> come on, just... Just land, please. I need. This is why we need whips in, um, in frickin' the island. That is a scary bear over there. What level is that bear? Wouldn't be... Ooh, that's a pretty good level bear, but, uh, it's not, it's not... It's good, but you know what, guys? Uh, I think we'll leave it. Oh my god, what the hell is that, like? I hit E to land, or to get on, and it took it ages to actually get me on. I thought that said a level one. I don't know why. Um... <laughs> All right, let's just fly back over here. Uh, our base is this way. I want to show you guys some little changes. I remember I mentioned it in the previous episode uh, that I was going to do the little dino pen thing. And maybe you guys even spotted it, like some changes to the towers while we were like flying by. I, I never really took notice of it at all, to be honest, because I kind of forgot that you guys didn't know about it. Anyway, um, I, I did the little, I did the flyer kind of platform thing. It's not complete. And I still need to do the other side, too. You guys will see in a second here. Alright, give it a second. Actually, you know what? Really quick, just for safety of this video, I'm going to stop the recording and restart in a second. And we are back. Wow, that was a big break. Um, <laughs> it's actually right over here. This is the opening. So you can see, I, I've actually done this little flyer platform thing right here, and if you can kind of spot down there, there's a couple little spoilers. Um, so yeah, we, we kind of just made this little uh, this little platform on top of all these pens here, which I thought was a great idea. The only problem was that these pens, when I was putting ceilings down, obviously like if I put a ceiling down on the last wall, if you can kind of see the last wall there, it would stick out on the outside. So I had to stick this row of uh, ceilings going along the wall. So they're like attached to each of these like walls right here. 
and uh, basically their their function is to pretty much just like close up the gap, <laughs> uh, which I think it does pretty well. Like it's it's not perfect, I know, but it looks pretty good. And then obviously at the front here, there's also a little a little tiny bit of a gap, kind of. And to kind of get around that, I put I put railings up here. So I think it looks nice. Uh, you don't really take too much notice of that. Kind of. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have pointed it out. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so the, I think it looks pretty good though. And I definitely think this this little room looks amazing. Let's just fly up here and have a look. So as you can see, if we can let's get into K-Mode. No, still not very good. Um, there we go. As you can see, we have the dino pens going around there, and then we have ramps coming up to here. And I just, I just did like a bit of a bit of a ramp going over there, so you, so you can just walk over. There's really no function to that. It just looks a little bit better, so it doesn't just stop off. Um, you know, the walkway doesn't just stop off over at that wall below the little ramp over there, the wooden one. And uh, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. So. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> but uh, let's go down here and actually check out the dino pens. And I have a surprise. Something that I have not showed you guys. And I've mainly been just working on it off cam. So I'll just, I'll go around. It's one of the last things I'll show. So right here we got our sabers. They look amazing. I was really kind of bummed out that we couldn't fit all seven of these spare sabers lined up at the back wall there. But uh, <laughs> it looks pretty cool anyway. Uh, this is Hello Kitty right there, our original Saber, <laughs> and then that's the other mutated one in the back. Um, so then right here we got our Tyranodon collection. Is there any eggs? No, <laughs> I can't see any. Uh, right here we got our RGs. There's three of them in there. It's kind of like looking at a zoo or something where you have to like move around so you can actually see all the creatures inside of there. Actually, you know what? This would be kind of cool as like a little exhibit thing. Ooh or exhibit wait is it it's exhibition right i don't shh, i don't know i don't know words this is our megalosaurus okay and here we have the invisible rhino i had to move the rhino rhinos can't fit through these gates apparently and i did not know that so i had to break the gate and uh yeah get the rhino out <laughs> it was really poopy but uh yeah so he's out there he's just out by another dino pen you guys will see him at some point maybe you already did i'm not even sure Right here we got our Therizinosaurus, our mutated one here, and then our other one there. And we got our Shally in there too. We're just gonna skip over to these last two pens first. <laughs> we've got our pig in here, he's gonna go out pretty soon. Right right in here we've got all of our deer, and then in here I have the Trudon army. <laughs> oh, there's so many! I have 30 or so Trudons. I don't know, like, I think it's around 30. It, I lost track. I really did. Um, don't, don't ask me why I did this. I don't know why I do these things. So those, those eggs that we had left, we had like six eggs after we did the episode when we went into the cave, because I bred all the Trudons beforehand. Um, so we had like six eggs or something. So I hatched up all those eggs, and I think out of two of them I got twins, I believe. And... What I did then was I I what was it again? Did I did I breed those ones? I can't even remember. Basically, I did a lot of breeding with those ones and the previous ones, and we managed to basically come out with this many. Yeah, uh, there's a lot in here. Some of them are unnamed still. <laughs> Some of them actually, pretty much most of them. Um, I I still need to name a couple, but uh, I have my Patreons. So, like, all my Patreon names, like, we got Star-Lord here, we got Riley. Uh, it's really hard to see. We got, like, everybody, like, pretty much all the Patreons right now have a Trudon named after them. And, uh, I still need to do, I think I need to do one or two more, maybe. I'm sorry, guys, if you're looking at this, but, uh, I got a little bit lazy after I did the last batch of Trudons. But, uh, yeah. So, as you can see, you can kind of just spot the names that are a bit easier when I crouch down like this. So, uh, yeah, pretty much like most of the Trudons are named after Patreons, and then there's obviously the original few that we had, uh, which you guys might even remember the names of. I'm not going to go back there and grab that Trudon egg, but uh, I just want to point out that a lot of these Trudons are freaking mutated to crap. Look at this. <laughs> like, this is insane. This is Jessica. No, wait, no, no, this is Trudon. It was Jessica's son. Um, yeah, I don't know, like... <laughs> there are a lot of them are like really really mutated like look at this one uh 
pretty much the same kind of that Shelby. Um, Shelby's one of my patreons as well. We got Iron King, another one of my patreons. Are you mutated, dude? You're not that mutated on the maternal side, but your dad was a freaking mutant. He was Wolverine. <laughs> oh man, that's all, that's so awesome. And actually, these guys really need a lot of levels too, because I have a Lystro. Oh man. Look at that. <laughs> I have a Lystro in the room behind me and uh, pretty much gives everything levels. And it's amazing. Um, oh, I need to level up your health. So I'm getting all their healths to a thousand. Um, and then I'm going to level up the melee. So at some point soon, guys, we're going to do a sequel. Oh, is that one kind of white? Oh, that one's cool. What are you? H3R07. Oh, you look cool, dude. Look at you. Let me see. You look awesome, actually. Holy crap, I want to see that one. Oh, the framiness. I gotta take away this thing. Oh, no. <laughs> Move, guys. Okay. Ah, oh, you look awesome. I never actually noticed, but uh, it kind of has, like, white stripes. Dude, that's amazing. Um, But, yeah, we're gonna do a sequel to the Trudon army in the cave, and I don't even know. I think I might take on something big. Now, not a Giga. Giga's, like... Trudons versus Gigas is just stupid because the Giga would obviously win. <laughs> but uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe something big. You know, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, patience, patience, patience is a virtue. Patience, patience. Irish people struggle with words sometimes, I'm sorry. Um, let me grab all this sap, actually. Oh, I'm, I'm not holding down T, I was holding down R. Alright, let me just chuck all this crap in here and then we'll head over to the community finally. Alright, uh, so this is miscellaneous. I need to finish off the rest of these signs. Uh, what do we have in here so far? Um, so we got all of our black pearls. We got our substrate. Wait, is that what it's called? Yeah, substrate. And we got a bunch of freaking um, sap so far, but we're going to run through that super quick, honestly. With this snail farm, it's going to be absolutely insane. Uh, we're going to run through this stuff really, really quick. And actually, speaking of that, I was harvesting earlier. Are they okay now? I made them some more cake. Nice. And you have some as well. Nice. I've just been putting the cake in their inventory. I know that it's probably not the best way to do it. People are saying, like, manually feed them cake, but I don't know. Like, it's a little bit... I feel a little bit better, actually, just leaving it in there for them. But, uh, let me see. Also, people are saying level the weight. Um, I could do, but food is a little bit safer. I mean, like, I'm not too fussed about the polymer. And actually, by the way, they have, since the time that we last talked about this, they have actually produced more than this amount of polymer. Can I put that back in there? Yeah, I can. Nice. Um, so that's that's reassuring. And this guy's eating all of his cake. Holy crap. Who else still has a lot of cake? You have a lot of cake. Share your cake with Gary. Um, so we have one more snail to harvest from. I think it might be this one here. Yep, it's you. We just do that. That makes it easier. And a little bit of that. And now we have the struggle of getting out of here. <laughs> All right. Also, I put in some windows up there. Um, some people were saying it might look nice, and I think it does. Uh, definitely from the outside. And it's nice. It's on the either side of the pillar there, so it looks really good. It looks a little bit better from the outside, to be honest. Yeah, it looks awesome. And I also actually put some windows in here, too. So as you can see, they're like that on every single side. I'm just noticing now that these pillars need to go across here, so I'm going to have to do that at some point. But guys, this episode so far has been just insane. We've just been running around doing like a load of random crap. Um, we can probably just hold on to the cementing pace for now. But I think we're going to head over to the community and uh, yeah, grab that moss chops. And you know what, guys? I'll see you over there. Guys. Oh. My. Crap. Holy. I, I was literally like flying by here. And I just spotted Quetzal. I'm like, oh, okay, like cool, Quetzal. Like I'm, I'm in the market for Quetzal. Like everybody knows that. Oh my god, level 180. That is ridiculous. I need this thing. I need it. We need to ca we need to tame this thing, but we oh my god we can't do it in this episode. We're already like we have we have pretty much mostly a full episode done so far. But guys, 
next episode we will be taming this so make sure that you make sure that you tune in for saturday basically was what i'm saying <laughs> like <laughs> holy crap i cannot believe it oh man level 180 that's ridiculous <laughs> okay we're gonna be taming this next episode guys oh my Ooh, I'm so excited. I've never tamed a max level Quetzal on any I'm really hoping that thing doesn't like Wait, didn't they don't they don't fly out of their like spawn zone? I don't believe anyway. No, I don't think Quetzals actually despawn, do they? No, they only die, right? I think so. Because I know if a dino leaves its spawn zone, it can despawn. But I don't think Quetzals despawn at all because they pretty much just roam the skies anyway. Their sky is their is their spawn zone. The only thing is, though, guys, I'm gonna probably have to. Mm, I might be. I might be able to source out some help. I don't know. I'm gonna have to ask around, just see if there's. Pretty much like right now at this stage, like I don't really think very many are. Very many people are around to record. I want to get this guy done. <laughs> I want to tame him. So I'm gonna have to source out some help, um, or else I'm gonna have to do it myself. Either one would be okay. Preferably, I get help though. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to try and figure out somebody to help us <laughs> i need that thing i need it oh okay well um yeah so we're back and uh let's let's go get this uh let's go get this guy the the moss chops i'm just still freaking out about that thing are you kidding me are you freaking kidding me there's a titan at the community uh why 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 he's in the community isn't he or, I mean, sorry, not the community, Lagtown. Yeah, he's inside of the community. We can't attack that thing. He's stuck in the boat. I'm gonna have to admin kill him later. We've just been doing that, by the way. Like, people can be pissed, whatever, I don't give a crap. Um, we've been admin killing the Titans if they're near somebody's base, because if this guy was to... If we had spikes over here, he would just murder everything. He really would. Um, I was also thinking we might even just disable them until somebody actually needs to tame one. I'm really scared of actually going near that thing, to be honest. I don't think there's anything over there that can damage it, but still. You know what, actually? Uh, let me get into admin mode and we'll kill this thing on cam. Okay guys, are you ready? Cheat. Kill. You ready? BAM! Get on, son! <laughs> uh, man. Oh, look at him! He's just chilling. Look at the little guy. He's so happy. <laughs> oh man, his like face is glitchy. Look at that. Oh, you know what? He might have like a large hitbox for his face and that's why you're able to actually knock them out that way. Potential thumbnail? Probably not. Two clickbaity. Two clickbaity. We did not kill this guy properly anyway. Can I check his inventory? They don't really have anything on them, do they? Do you even have an inventory, buddy? Let me check. Can I even see one? No, no inventory. I'm kind of confused. Ah, well, it doesn't really matter. Let's go get what we're here for. Um, now there are a bunch of moss chops around here, and it is completely fine for me to take one. Um, let's just find like a decent level one though. Uh, oh, you're a decent level. You're probably gonna be mine. Who were you claimed by? Because if you were bred up, oh no, this is an original one. Interesting. Hmm. You know what, actually? I might take I might take two and get an egg. Yeah, that would be a little bit better. Um, Let's go find a high-level male, and we can just hatch up one of these guys at some point. Oh, there's another one right there. Are you a male? <laughs> there's like, guys, honestly, these things are everywhere around here. It's ridiculous. Oh, you're a female. This thing's still on freaking Wander. Why do people not take them off of Wander? There we go. Disable Wandering. Now stop Wandering. What did I just say? Good. <laughs> All right, let me just grab the female that we were gonna take. Let's, you know what? Let's just get our own. It would make more sense to imprint one. It would be a little bit more powerful um, because this is gonna be for our, is there a decent level? There's a level one, 280 in there, holy crap. This is gonna be for our, our, our for our um, freaking what are they called? Uh, penguin farm. You're female as well, crap. Okay, well I'm gonna breed this with something then. What are you, a male? And you're a male too. Okay, the level 171 and the 280. That's what it's going to be. 
This thing is leveled a little bit, actually. Are you leveled at all? Not really. Yeah, the 280 is going to be a higher level either way. Okay, well, let's get this going then. Um, they should just be able to mate in here, I think. I don't think they're going to go out of range. I think Jack made this little pen so they could be in here and they could be anywhere and they could just mate. Nice. Actually, I need to put you off of wandering so you don't, like, get yourself in between them somehow. <laughs> oh, awesome. So, Trudon mating. Uh, we're probably not going to hatch this guy this episode. Might even hatch him in the episode where we actually make the penguins. That would be smart. That would be pretty smart. Uh, so this episode has been pretty relaxed so far, besides freaking out over that freaking Quetzal. Honestly, I'm so excited. I really hope I can get that thing, and I, I really hope it doesn't get hurt or something like that. That would just be terrible. If it does, I'll probably wake it up. I, I don't even think it's worth... Um, I don't even think it's worth actually taming if it's been hurt. So we're going to definitely have to wake that thing up if we knock it out and it gets hurt. And I'm now thinking... I know Albanac has a Quetzal. What gender was it again? He got a 174, I believe. Where is his Quetzal? Would it be inside? No, it's definitely not in there. It's far too big. No, I really like his house, though. He's got one of these things. It's nice. I think the S plus one's a little bit bigger as well. Or is that like a normal size? No, it's 2x2. Two two. No, that's normal size. Um, yeah, I like Albanac's building style, it's really great. Check him out, he's down below. <laughs> uh, that's his little tag, by the way, CP. Um, okay, let me go over here and check then. How are you guys, did you guys stop right, oh, are you kidding me? This pen is that big? Oh, are you kidding? Come on. Come on, just get in range and start, start banging. <laughs> Alright, let's just do this instead, this is a little bit easier. Alright, well, you know what, guys? We're probably going to end it off here. Definitely stick around, guys. Stick around tomorrow. Tomorrow, we will tame up that Quetzal. And I know Albanac has a 174. I don't know the gender. I think it might actually be female. If it is female, that is a 174 and a 180 breeding together, which is crazy. I don't think anybody has a 180 yet. So we'll be the first one to get a perfect... Quetzal if we can get him. Oh my god. I'm just thinking now like holy crap if that thing goes out I'm just gonna freak uh, Okay, well, I'm so excited anyway if you guys are too make sure that you beat the crap out of that like button and stick around Subscribe if you guys want to see that and uh, hit that little bell down below become part of the I was about to say subscription. No be <laughs> Become part of the notification squad. You guys are awesome I'm really liking that the first comment and seventh and first like and all this crap is being replaced by notification squad assemble or something like that it's really cool it's nice to see that you guys are committed to the videos and the channel and everything and uh it's great it's awesome but uh yeah <laughs> i will catch you guys next time